Hi. In the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at some new highlights in this new UFD1 release. First up, AI-based testing is taking a big step forward. You can now test SAP GUI for Windows applications using UFD1's AI-based testing. Inspect the application, add a step, and run it on your application. UFT1 can now identify additional types of controls using AI. For example, refresh, contact card, document, and more. In the AI inspection or AI record interface, you can now adjust multiple properties in an object description, even if each property on its own does not describe the object uniquely. Next up, some UFT core feature enhancements. You can now test WPF applications built with .NET 5 or 6. WPF extensibility also supports working with .NET 5 and 6, allowing you to create custom support for additional .NET 5 or 6 WPF controls. When identifying text, you can now specify the color of the text you want to describe or retrieve. This gives you finer control and increases text recognition accuracy. The new version of the Application Automation Tools Jenkins plugin provides the following enhancements. A new public-private key pair is used to protect sensitive data on each node. You can now connect to UFT mobile servers requiring access key authentication. You can specify the timestamp format for the UFT report and more. Enhance your mobile testing by using devices from more sources. You can now test devices stored on the WeTest and GetEmotion Labs. You can specify the fleet type for hosted devices, and for public hosted devices, you can specify where to select the device from geographically. And last but not least, UFT1 can now consume a concurrent license from an AutoPass license server with multi-tenancy enabled. This UFT release supports new versions of Chrome, Chromium Edge, and Firefox, new AutoPass license server versions, and Windows Server 2022. It also adds support for many new technology versions, including Delphi, Dojo, Java, SAP, and more. For more new features, check out the UFT1 Help Center. Enjoy the new UFT1 2022 release.